Welcome back to Practicing Hydroponics, everyone. As you can see, I'm standing in the entryway of our greenhouse. This is the berry house. We've made some significant changes uh, as a result of the terrible summer that we've had here in the uh, Texas area, and the greenhouse particularly. We had over 80 days, almost 90 days of uh, 105 to 110 degree temperatures, which uh, did quite a number on us here. Although we have a, a chiller to help our water, I think the in a shade over the top, the uh, heat and the stress that it put on our berries was a little bit more than uh, what some of them could endure. Uh, we've removed two of the grow systems and we're down to one monster ebb and flow system here. And the blackberries, although we had one problem with uh, a system uh, controller, that uh, shut off our water for a few days before we recognized it. Uh, we're now down to two blackberry plants, but they seem to be dealing with the heat stress uh, quite, quite well. So we've decided to take out two of the uh, other ebb and flow systems that were in here and uh, move it down to one, giving ourselves a lot more room, finding that the blackberries, uh, since they survived the best uh, during the heat, we're going to concentrate on uh, putting a full complement of these uh, blackberries in here. And quite frankly, it was just getting a little too crowded with the other two growth systems, so we cut it down to the one. The uh, strawberries, we've got uh, three trays that are now completely empty, although we were able to get cuttings off of some of these um, and move them on to the indoor uh, grow room, which you'll see in another one of our videos. Uh, we've consolidated all of the strawberries that are living uh, through the drought down into uh, three trays. Two of the trays are, are pretty full and this uh, remaining tray here, although not full, the, uh, the plants that we do have in it are, are doing quite well. So we will continue to focus on this tray as well as the other two down here towards the end. Um, can't really see where I'm filming right now, but I'll give you a scan of the berries on the top and a scan of these uh, strawberries here on the bottom. As I said, they seem to uh, have survived, these plants survived the drought and the heat the best, so uh, we're going to continue with these and hopefully. Uh, they will do well and, and survive the winter that uh, we hopefully will one day get. We also took out the mixing tank that used to be here. We may have over engineered a little bit uh, when we first thought out the greenhouse. What we decided to do since we easily mix all of our nutrients into the, uh, the actual system tanks themselves, we decided to move that nutrient tank out of there to give us a little bit better access to the filters. Nothing else really has changed much in the house. Uh, we have ordered some additional blackberries that we can winter over and hopefully these uh, guys that are still with us uh, will continue to do well and we'll see them again in the spring. As you can see uh, we still have some of the water pipe in here from the other grow systems, but the grow systems are going to be reused in the second greenhouse that we have next door. Uh, we actually moved one of them into the grow room and we'll talk about that in a bit. But uh, thanks for visiting, hope to see you next time on Practicing Hydroponics.